I'm gonna be using the number one drum today to do a brisket. Yo, this is Dash. Get ready. All right, so we are back out at the drum, and unfortunately, or actually, before I get to started too much let me turn off the sound on my phone okay all right so we're back out of the drum and at this point i'm going to get the drum started i have a small brisket i need to take care of doing tonight tonight is actually new year's eve so this is going to be the last cook of the year now that being said i'm going to move the drum out just a little bit from the side of the house Yeah. Grates out. Now, one of the things that you guys didn't see last time, this is the water pan. You guys didn't get to see down in there in the water pan, but we're going to move that off to the side and we'll get the. This is a charcoal basket that came with one of the grills and obviously as you can see there's some stuff on it but this is the the money shot basically let's get the charcoal basket out now you see there's ash down at the bottom of that what i'm going to do is just move this around for right now after two maybe three cooks i will go ahead and actually vacuum this out or just dump it upside down so that the ash is out of the way okay so come over to my bag of charcoal here and let's get this over here now granted today's cook is a brisket but I'm not gonna be cooking the brisket out here the entire time so what I'm gonna do is actually only fill this up about halfway and I'm going to get a split this looks like a suitable candidate we're gonna get the split put in there and then what I'm gonna do lower this down into the drum now last time you saw me get the drum started with the torch today I'm gonna to use the charcoal chimney And we'll get some charcoal in here. Tumbleweed. Twenty minutes later. All right, so I'm back outside at the charcoal chimney. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and get some light for you guys so you can see down in here what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour my charcoal directly over that. So let's get that ready. Now, this isn't lit all the way just because I'm being impatient. I could wait another minute or so. I don't have a poker or anything when I'm out of the garage or when I did this before 
I used to have a poker to kind of spread the charcoal around, but that'll work. All right. So now at this point, we are going to reassemble the drum. The charcoal grate goes on top. The water pan goes on there. I'm gonna go get some water and fill that up. All right, so I am back out at the drum. Drum is ready to get cooked on. We have our brisket there. So I'm gonna take the brisket, go ahead and get it up, load it up into the drum. You guys can watch along. All right, so I am here at the drum. Everything is ready to go on. I'm gonna get my gloves on so I can shape this brisket once I get it on here. <laughs> very simple this brisket today is all of I think 12 or 13 pounds get a little bit of a seasoning on the edge here where it fell off from the foil all right I'll see this in a couple hours Later that same evening. All right, so before we actually show you how I get the brisket sliced and weighed for orders, I'm going to talk you through this process. So I'm gonna go ahead and press play back on the video and I'm gonna walk you through the process. All right, so here I am, I have my brisket. I'm going to slice the point from the flat, flip the flat over. I'm gonna be using the straight edge knife to be to slice the flat into about well, quarter inch slices, excuse me, eighth inch slices. Eighth is smallest, and I usually try not to slice anything bigger than three eighths of an inch. So I'm gonna slice the entire flat. Watch your fingers. Again, ask me how I know. Then I'm gonna slice the whole brisket lengthwise in half just to make it easier to handle. Get it, put it back into the aluminum pan. Clean up my cutting board a little bit. Then I'm gonna take the point out. Square up the point, slice it into big sections. Cut the fat piece off of the underside. Then I'll actually cut <clears throat> against the grain into the slices. At this point, some of you guys are probably would make burnt ends out of this, but I always do slices for catering. It's just easier for me to do in this area. It's easier for me to do slices on the brisket. And again, I also separate the point from the flat completely. So we're slicing the, the point up, just about finished with the point. Now let's clean up, cutting board out of the way. Now I get some new gloves, clean up my where I was cutting. Now I'll get the scale out. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and zero out the scale. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, the glare from the light is of course perfectly on where the weight is showing up on the scale.
So you see, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh out. This is the, I'm gonna weigh out the point. This was for a five pound order. So I put two and a half pounds into the pan of the point, switched out, and I'm gonna put two and a half pounds of the flat. Just getting the weight right. And this last piece, I have a one pound order. Now this was for New Year's Eve, actually. All right. Now, as you saw, I got the brisket cut up into specific orders. I don't think I've ever actually showed you guys how I weigh out the brisket or weigh out anything. For the most part in the past, I just kind of tell you, hey, this is what I do. But I showed you guys that this time. So hopefully some of you guys who are into, into or trying to start up doing this found that interesting. A lot of you guys have always asked or have asked in the past how I do the getting it ready for the customer. So there you have it. That's how I slice up a brisket. That's how I put it into pans cover those pans tightly with aluminum foil, serve them to or give them to them. They can take those pans and put them right into the oven to warm them back up. So for this particular customer or these particular customers, what ended up happening, the, the pan that or the pans that went into the aluminum foil, the, the guy actually, uh, he ended up getting his food the night after. So I warmed his food up for him, I took it to him in uh, one of the Cambros, said it was for, warm when I gave it to him because he was having it for dinner. So as opposed to me having to make him wait another 45 minutes to an hour to warm it back up, I took it to him warm and was able to deliver it to him warm so he was able to eat as soon as I brought him his food. The other smaller container, the guy who ordered that one, he ate it on New Year's Eve and yeah, he pretty much ate it right out of the container from what he said. Anyway, if you guys have any other questions about this, feel free to leave them down below. If you like what you saw today, if you learned something, please leave me a thumbs up. Thank you again, as always, for watching. Don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you can be notified whenever one of these videos goes live. Speaking of live, don't forget we do a live stream on Wednesday nights, 9 p.m., Two hours just about. First hour, we talk about something barbecue or barbecue business related. Second hour, we're going to shoot the breeze, talks amongst friends, and hopefully, um, you know, cool our throats with some something cool. All right. Anyway, thank you guys again, as always, for watching, and I'll see you next time. Well, bye, baby. <laughs>